Very exciting news, our colonization of Mars seems to be more of a reality every day, so much so that NASA is already trying to prepare for the shelter needs of possible Mars colonists by launching a $2.5 million competition for the design and build of a 3D habitat to be used in space. The prize will be split between the best architectural designs and the best 3D printers that use material already available in Mars as well as recyclable materials to manufacture building components. The competition is now open for registration. Pretty sci-fi and futuristic, don't you think? It's really inspiring. You know, let's just hope that they're engaging young minds, uh, getting young kids thinking, um, maybe even some older ones. But I think that this is an awesome, awesome project. They're always doing a contest of, of, some, t of some sort. Yeah. And um, let's hope that young chemists, young architects out there latch on and get to work. I hope so. NASA is dividing this competition in three parts, as we said. The first one is the architectural design of the actual habitat, and that's going to go with a $50,000 prize that is going to be given out in the 2015 World Maker Fair in New York. So they're trying to first get the, des the design going of the most feasible and sustainable architectural design. Then we move on to the next phase, that is the structural member competition. And this is basically fabrication techniques with materials already present on Mars. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool, because th what they say is that traveling with cargo is very, very expensive. It's about uh, $10,000 per pound to transport in space. Oh. So every pound to transport a pound in space is $10,000. So they're saying, if we bring building materials and construction materials, we are going to be wasting precious cargo for food, for medicine, tools, and instruments. So they're saying, let's do the second phase, that it's 3D printers. How are we going to create these 3D printers that are wor in working conditions in Mars, that are being sourced with materials in Mars, creating and building the houses that we're going to be using in Mars? Oh, I see. So we're going to take, we're going to take items that we already have, molecules, atoms, and we're going to, this only applies to houses, we're not going to do like a 3D pizza slice? No, Mars. we no. This is exclusive, exclusive for building the, the habitat that we will be using to live in Mars. I think that And the prize for you guys that want to do some research is $1.1 million if you come up with the best 3D printer to build our habitat in Mars. You know, that's... I, that's motivation right there. $1 million, $1.1. Yeah. I, I would... I might give this a shot when I go home. No, no. And another part of the story that is really cool is the fact that this approach to, to the colonization of Mars immediately rockets the mining of asteroids. We are thinking that the most feasible way for us to get water and other materials to build and to, to, be, to sustain life in Mars is by going to nearby asteroids that are passing by, go mine them for water and materials, and bring them back to Mars. I mean. I guess we're all returning to Mars, yeah. your theory earlier. Well, in 2020, okay. the NASA is sending a rover to Mars to start exploring the situation, to start seeing if we can convert CO2 from the, from the surface into oxygen to sustain life. Let us know if you think that you have a shot for this competition. And if you have an idea, put it in the comments. And subscribe to the Lib TV too.